Okay, Timothy Bradley, Manny Pacquiao 2 is finally amongst us. Um, very happy this fight is ha is happening. I wish it happened right after the first fight, being that it was a controversial decision, you know, and I wanted these guys to get back in there and jump in the ring. Okay, but I'm going to give you my opinion on the first fight first because I wasn't doing videos at the time and I want to give you a reason why I came up with the prediction that I'm doing today, all right? Now, I am a Manny Pacquiao fan and I I respect Tim Bradley. You know, I'm not a biggest Bradley fan, but I respect him a lot more what uh, because of what he did recently. But at the time in the first fight, I respected his skills. I wasn't a fan, but I'm not going to lie to you, all right? When I heard this fight was happening, I was a little worried about the outcome of the fight because I thought Tim Bradley had the qualities to beat Manny Pacquiao. Unlike any other guy that Manny Pacquiao has fought over the years, I thought Tim Bradley was going to be that guy that could match Manny Pacquiao. You know, he has the foot speed, he got the hand speed, he has the boxing ability, you know what I'm saying? He's a busy fighter, he has great stamina, and I thought that me being a Pacquiao fan, I'm not one of those delusional ones that just thinks that no one can, he can never lose and he's perfect. I'm not one of those guys. I, I, I am sure, you know, I'm aware that Manny Pacquiao is not the fighter that he was back in 2008, 2009. When he went up to 4 and 47, he was knocking everybody out. All right, I don't need to give you a history lesson, but I knew Bradley was going to be trouble for Pacquiao because Pacquiao has lost a step. Okay, he's still one of the best, but I knew for a fact that Tim Bradley's style was like Manny Pacquiao's kryptonite. All right? So, all right. So when the fight happened, uh, I was one of the people that was outraged out of the outcome. You know, I thought Manny Pacquiao clearly won the fight. All right, I thought he got robbed, you know, and I thought there was something behind it immediately. I even went back and watched the fight, and I gave Bradley a couple more rounds, but I felt like I was forcing it and looking for rounds to give to Tim Bradley at the time. Um, but I still gave Manny Pacquiao the win. I thought Manny Pacquiao clearly won the fight, and... That was that. Now, re rewinding with in 2014 now, and the past couple weeks, I've been watching the fight. I have a video of it. I've been watching a video that's not in English because I, I don't want to listen to the, the horrible HBO commentary. All right? It was horrible. Okay? Um, even for a Pacquiao fan, you got to sit here and, and be fair. You know, I, I watched the fight. The commentary was all pro Pacquiao. The replay videos were all pro Pacquiao. Okay? And maybe my... Maybe I was a little biased. I don't know. You know, when I watched the fight back then, I wasn't doing videos. I was just a regular boxing fan. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I was a little biased in thinking that Manny Pacquiao clearly won the fight. But I, I'm going to tell you this. I've never been so influenced by... The commentary in a fight like I was in that fight because when I watch it today I have a whole different outlook on the fight now I've been watching them video a lot I watched it three times I try to I watch it again one last time to finally come up with a decision on who I think is gonna win the fight all right and every single time I look at rounds differently a lot of the rounds were were close I want to say there was four fights that I I'm, I'm sorry, four rounds that I thought Manny Pacquiao won without a doubt. And there was four rounds that I thought Tim Bradley won. Okay? There was one round apiece where I gave one of the fighters the edge in that round. And there was two rounds that I thought it was a draw. And I could not come up with a winner. Alright? So if you if you look at the math, I gave five rounds to Bradley. I gave five rounds to Manny Pacquiao. I gave the first to Bradley. 
I gave the last three to Bradley, and I think I gave the eighth round to Bradley, all right? Not, I think that's what the way I scored it. Every other round was all Pacquiao, all right? Now, there's a few things that come into play with the first fight. Tim Bradley's injuries. He had foot injuries, leg injuries. I don't know exactly what it was. I think it was a bruised ankle, a fractured foot. I can't remember, but it definitely played a role in his foot speed in the fight, especially um, like after the second and third round. So they definitely played a role in that fight. Um, another thing that I noticed is that Manny Pacquiao's stamina was not there that fight. All right, it, and you know a lot of people could blame it. You could blame it on old age or whatever. Um, but I did notice it. But the thing is, too, the Marquez fight was afterwards. And the Marquez fight, he seemed to be very aggressive in that fight. You know, and I know it didn't go for 12 rounds. And I know Tim Bradley was a busier fighter. And I think he clearly won the last three rounds in their fight. But I don't know if it's because Brad, I don't know if Manny Pacquiao... I don't know whether it was because of old age, because he didn't, listen, he didn't fight aggressive through, throughout the whole fight with Bradley. He was definitely the more accurate puncher, I'll say that. He hit him with the harder shots, but he wasn't busy. He stood there and waited and waited, and, and, and it was annoying me because I felt like Bradley was, you know, making it more of a fight and bringing the fight to Pacquiao. And it wasn't a Pacquiao that we used to seeing, you know what I'm saying? Um, but he still did well. But I'm just saying, this this is one of the things that I felt like made the fight so close because Bradley was so much more busier than Manny Pacquiao in that fight. Even though a lot of the punches were blocked, I think him being more busy made this uh, a closer fight and made it, it might have swayed the judges' decisions and everything like that. But anyway... Um, you know, those were the two main things that I noticed. The stamina with Pacquiao, especially in the last three rounds. I think the ninth round was Pacquiao's 12th round. You know, I gave, I think Pacquiao gave it all he had in the ninth round. Where Bradley kept it going in a steady pace even in the 10th, 11th, and 12th rounds where he won in my eyes. Um, now, uh, this is what I think the fighters need to do. Manny Pacquiao needs to be aggressive. He is better at fighting aggressive. When he lands and hits Bradley, Bradley goes into a, a, a mode where he starts swinging for the fences and he wants to prove that he's not hurt. All right. And he, he can exchange and go back and forth with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was better at fighting that way. He has more power. He needs to be more aggressive. All right. I know. It is going to make him more liable to get hit and get countered by Bradley. But he needs to stay busy. He needs to smother Tim Bradley. It should not have been the other way around for 12 rounds. He needs to smother Tim Bradley. Okay. Uh, the left worked for him. His straight left worked for him. He needs to use that in this fight. He always uses it anyway. He's going to use it all the time. That's his best punch. But he needs to use his left as much as he can and try to get try to bring a fight into this where he leaves Bradley more vulnerable to get hurt. He has the the ability to hurt Tim Bradley and even drop him. Try to get some 10-8 rounds. I don't think he can knock Tim Bradley out. Tim Bradley, we already seen he take punishment from Provoknikov the way that he did. I don't think Manny Pacquiao could knock this guy out. But I think he could drop him. At least. You know what I'm saying? He did. I think he did hurt him uh, somewhere in the fourth, fifth round. Um, he did hurt Tim Bradley. And I think he's capable of a dropping him and trying to get a 10-8 round. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think Manny Pacquiao needs to do. He needs to go in there like he did against Marquez in the fourth fight. I mean, I know he got knocked out. But his aggression that he showed in that fight, that's what he needs in this fight. Um, Tim Bradley. Keep doing what he was doing, using his jab. He needs to use his jab like he used, his, used in the first fight. Um, another thing I noticed, him sidestepping to the left, 
using that quick left hook. That worked well when Cap when it came to countering Manny Pacquiao walking in. You know, he used it well. Um, he needs to keep doing that in the second fight. Um, if his foot speed stays the same, if there's no injuries, no problems with his feet, it could be a tougher fight for Manny Pacquiao because he has that jab and he can just keep using it like the way he used it against Marquez. Now, Marquez is not Manny Pacquiao. You know, uh, Manny Pacquiao has a lot of foot speed himself. But at least, you know, that'll at least keep him at bay. Um, you know what I'm saying? Especially if Manny Pacquiao comes to be more aggressive this fight, which I think he will, which I think he should in this fight. All right. Um, and just, you know, as stamina hasn't been an issue for Tim Bradley. It's never been an issue with him. You know, he's going to fight the same way. We already know what he's coming with. He's a very athletic fighter. Both of them are very athletic. Um, but we're used to seeing Manny Pacquiao have stamina in the end of the fight. He didn't have it in the last round. So, you know, I think that might play a role. And this is why Tim Bradley just needs to stay busy like he did in the first fight. Not allow Pacquiao to smother him. And when he gets hit hard with something, don't try to go in there and exchange and go back and forth with Manny Pacquiao. Because Manny Pacquiao will A, he will definitely win that exchange, the most of those exchanges. Or B, he will knock you out. Okay, so that's what Tim Bradley needs to do. Now, my prediction on the fight, I think Tim Bradley is going to win by split decision. It's going to be a close fight again. But I think Tim Bradley is going to win by split decision. Being that he outworked Pacquiao, I know Pacquiao hit, landed the harder shots. He was a lot more accurate than Tim Bradley was in the first fight. But I can't count on his stamina being there, fight, being that he's fighting uh, a, a, a fighter that fights on a very high level for the whole 12 rounds. He got gassed by the ninth round in the first fight. I can't count on him fighting at a high level in the second fight, even though um, I think he might be able to, but I just can't count on that, you know? And I think that was the difference of me making the decision for this fight. Tim Bradley winning those three, winning four. In my eyes, he won four out of the last five rounds. I, it, it, it was, you know, this is why I think he might have won the fight. This is why I think the judges picked him to win the fight. You know, even though Manny Pacquiao won like the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, or whatever, I just think he, you know, I don't know if he's going to be able to fight on that level at the end, not with a high-level fighter like, you know, Tim Bradley. You know, but um, I think it's going to be a very close fight. It could, it's a definitely a 50-50 fight. It could definitely go either way. All right. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a draw. I wouldn't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao won this fight. I would, If he won this fight or if it's a draw, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a third fight out of this. But right now, I think Timothy Bradley is going to be, is going to get the slight edge in this fight. I think once again, Manny Pacquiao is going to hit him with the hardest shots. He might even drop him once or twice. But I think if, if Tim Bradley's foot speed stays the same throughout the whole fight, I think he's going to have a, 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 I think he's going to win the fight without a doubt. It's going to be, a, be he's going to be the clear winner this time around. Manny Pacquiao, he needs to fight aggressive from the opening bell. He needs to fight him like he came at Marquez, in my opinion. All right. Say what you want. I know he got knocked out. I don't care. I think him getting knocked out by Marquez, I think he's. I don't think Bradley will knock him out. Okay. I think Pacquiao needs to be more aggressive in this fight. All right. So, uh, you guys, you know, um, I know I'm going to get probably dumbed down for a lot of videos. I know Manny Pacquiao fight when well, you don't pick against him for him. A lot of people will get angry. I'm, I'm just giving you my prediction. I've seen the fight over and over, and I'm tired of watching the fight. But this is Tim Bradley. I think Tim Bradley's going to win the fight by split decision. So you guys leave comments. All right? Don't be all disrespectful and everything. Just leave comments. Let me know how you think the second fight is going to go. Not how the fight went the first time. All right? I don't want to really talk too much about that. Let me know what you guys think. 
And, um, you know, subscribe to the channel and hit me on my Twitter. Or check me out on Twitter. We can talk on there about it. All right. Thanks for tuning in.